In this video, we're gonna talk about the Capita Black Snowboard of Death. This is a board that's been in their lineup since they started, and it's a board that's gone through a lot of changes. Now, some of those changes have been good, some of them have been bad. This year, it goes back to what its namesake is, the Black Snowboard of Death, a hard charging, hard ripping, responsive board, and that's what it is. It's a board for the guy that's going to rip a big line, that's gonna jump off some cliffs, that's gonna carve trenches on groomers, that's gonna make out with his girlfriend in the lift line and chug beer. It's that type of snowboard. Oh yeah, brother. It's the black snowboard of death. It's gonna bring the black death to you. You again? Can you shoo? Shoo, 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 shoo. Got a review to do. Okay, okay, I'll let you get back to your review. For now, brother. For now. This board features Capita's Mountain V2 profile, which is rocker into traditional camber, a mellow little flat spot, and then more rocker in the tail with the Wapow tips. This board is available in both regular and wide sizes. Overall, the Black Snowbird of Death has a slightly directional flex pattern to it. So you have a softer nose going into a stiffer tail with a little bit of play between the feet and obviously the stiffest section being underfoot. Overall, this board is just past middle of the road in terms of its flex. Now, now when it comes to stability, this board is damp yet lively. So you might notice a little bit of chatter in the tips, but it's not enough to resonate back underfoot you're not gonna wash out, you're not gonna have it buck you around. As this board is camber dominant, you do have to load it up to get pop. The cool thing with this board is when you engage the camber zone into that flat section, it has a lot of rebound and it snaps aggressively. This is a board that you can pop over anything in your path. And that carries over to jumps. Small, medium, large, don't worry about it. This board can handle them all. Speed is the key when it comes to jibbing, buttering, or pressing with this board. It's just got one of those flex patterns that's gonna make you work for it more. And the carbon layup in this board is unique enough that you're gonna notice how it drives this board, especially when you're pressing. It's not the most playful board out there, so you're gonna be working a little bit more to get the job done. With that said, if you're a heavier rider, you're golden. If you're lighter weight, I'm sorry, man, you're shit out of luck. This board is quick and nimble with its edge-to-edge -edge transmission. You're going to notice right away how fast you can transition with this board. Overall though, I found long swooping carves that you're locked into were where it really excelled. Tight, quick, hard carves, not so much. So take that into consideration. This is a board for cruising the groomers. This is a board for cruising the groomers and going side to side on the trail. This is a quiver of one board for the right rider. And that rider is someone that's gonna slay the whole mountain. Someone that's gonna go chase pow in the morning, slash turns on groomers, and still go in the park. They revamped this board for this year, and I think it's more in tune with what the marketing should be and who this board's designed for. So if you're one of those guys that can only have one board and you really like to charge hard, check this out. What other decks are comparable to the Black Snowboard of Death? The LibTech Hot Knife, the Endeavor KTV, the Flow Blackout, the Rosinal Angus. All right, so now you've decided what snowboard you're gonna get and you're going to decide where you're gonna buy it. If you're shopping local, awesome. Slap your local shop guys a high five and tell them they're killing it. But for those of you that are buying online, why don't you shop from one of the links we have down below. That way you support us and you get a deal on your snowboard. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you can see all the relevant or irrelevant snowboarding content that we're putting out for you guys. So smash that bell down below. That way you're getting a notification. And I'll see you guys in another video. Black snowboard of death. Die. Get the fuck out of here.